Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to isolate uh, elements inside of an SVG file in Cricut Design Space. Now, this was something that I tried to do a while ago and just couldn't figure it out. Um, not sure why it didn't work and now it's working, but um, I was actually tipped off by uh, a friend of mine in one of the Cricut forums. Um, so, let me show you how to do that. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking at the available images that I've uploaded in the past. Okay, so I'm going to start with this file here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and import that or insert it. Okay, so there it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and insert a shape. And in this case, it's just going to be a square because it's very simple to work with. I'm going to click on this little lock on the bottom left here so that it doesn't keep it in like a proportion so I can kind of skew it however I want. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm going to simply adjust it so that it fits over this area here. Okay, so actually, hold on one second here, okay. Yeah, so you're basically gonna take and, and use any shape that you need to to sort of cover whatever it is that you're trying to remove. So let's say, for example, you go to make this card from our Gatefold Greetings SVG bundle, and for some reason, your machine cuts this side okay, but something happens, your blade snags or whatever, and you need to only recut this piece here, or you only have enough paper for this piece here, and you don't want to waste a whole another half sheet of paper, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this this large rectangle and make sure that we have this entire element covered up okay and we're gonna draw a box around both so that we have everything selected okay and then we're gonna hit the slice button over here under layers okay so it's doing its thing and it just sliced it now take a look at what happens here I'm gonna click I'm gonna move this out of the way okay I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna move this out of the way so that slice Basically what it did was it sort of freed this element from this element, from the original file. And we can go ahead and delete that so that we're just left with this one piece here. So let me show you that one more time here. Let me bring this back in. And as you can see, when you click on this, this is one file. And there's no ungroup option, which I wish there was, because it would make it a lot easier. For some reason, this is how Design Space handles SVG files, and it's really nothing we can do about that. But one more time here, I'm going to insert a shape, okay? And the square starts off looking like this. I'm going to unlock this so that we can adjust this. Okay, so we've taken and created this rectangle. It's way, way bigger than it needs to be, but that's okay. And we're going to cover up. Let's cover up this side this time. Okay, so we've got it covered up. We're going to select all of the elements that we're working with here. You can also do a select all. It does the same exact thing. And then we simply click slice under layers. Okay, and again, it kind of freed that, that left piece up. We can delete that. We can delete this, and we can delete that. And that leaves us with the one piece that we're interested in. Okay, so again, this is more of a workaround. I don't think that this is by design, but sometimes you just got to go with what works in order to achieve that end result. Okay, so let me show you that process one more time with a different shape. And then I'm also going to show you that process one more time with a file that contains some score lines. Okay, so here's one. Um, this is a little band for one of our cards okay and as you can see here okay um, what we need to do this one has score lines so you've got multiple layers here you've got the score layer and you've got the cut layer okay now with this let's say we only we just want to isolate this band here okay now if I take and insert a shape like I did before start with a rectangle and I'm just going to place it right about here and just make sure that I get this whole thing covered up. I'm going to select all. Now slice is not an option, okay? And the reason for that is because of the score lines and the fact that there are multiple layers here. 
So what we need to do is we need to right click and hit ungroup or we can go ahead and click here and hit ungroup here. So what that does is it takes the score lines and the cut lines and places them on separate layers so that we can actually perform the slice operation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and now right now you see here this box is underneath this shape so I'm going to highlight this, arrange it, and move it to the front so that I can bring it on top. I'm not sure that it, that even makes a difference but okay so I have it up there so with this what we want to do is we want to make sure that we highlight just the cut files because you can only slice two layers at a time based on my findings here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the square first, I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to click on the cut layer like that. Okay, so we have just the cut elements selected here, and I'm going to click slice. Okay, so this first go around removes that bottom piece, and we should still have the score marks here. I'm going to actually bring those to the front so you can see them. They're still there. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and eliminate this flower. So I'm going to insert a shape again. Okay, there it is. Let's see if that even that fits by default. I didn't even have to resize it. Okay, so again, I don't want to select the score lines. Okay, I want to select the square. So I'm clicking here holding down shift and then clicking here and I can go ahead and hit slice okay so that frees up that flower and I can delete these files which leaves me with just what I'm interested in and now actually for some reason it keeps taking these score lines and putting them underneath this layer so I'm just gonna hit arrange and move it back to the front so there it is okay now I want to go ahead and attach this, okay? Because when you go to cut it, you want to make sure that the cut lines and the score lines cut together. Now, watch, if we had not attached that, so let me actually detach that. If we didn't attach that and hit go, you see what happens here? It actually puts them right next to each other, which we don't want. So anytime you're dealing with score marks, and I've actually repeated this in multiple videos, always want to make sure that you attach it before you hit go. Okay, so let me just show you one more example here. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to upload an image. And again, we're going to do one with score marks because I feel like that one is a little bit more difficult than the other ones. So let me bring in this file here. I'm going to insert the image. Okay, and again, this is one of our gatefold greeting cards. Okay, so I want to I want to isolate the main card because something happened when I cut that. Um, it didn't work out for me, and I need to just recut the bot the top. And I don't want to recut this part for the envelope for the flap of the envelope. So let me get. I want to get rid of this. So the first thing we're going to do because it has score marks is we're going to ungroup it. Okay, so I just hit ungroup down here, and that took the score marks and placed it on a separate layer that's not connected to the envelope. Okay, so now what we can do is we can insert a shape. I'm going to grab my square, click on the little lock so that I can skew it however I want, and bigger is okay. It doesn't have to be the exact size. I'm going to place it over the part that I don't want. Okay, okay, so I'm starting with the envelope, holding down shift and clicking on the square. So now it's selected both the envelope, I'm sorry, not the envelope, but the card base and the square. And I'm going to go ahead and hit slice. Okay. And as you can see, it freed up that, that flap. Okay. So I'm going to delete that, delete that, delete that. And that leaves me with my card. But again, score marks are not visible. Okay. So again, for some reason, it took the score marks and placed them underneath this image here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the score marks, which you can't see because they're behind there. You don't want to move them, leave them in place. And under arrange, you want to move to front. Okay. And as you can see, they're there. 
So then we can select all, can select both of these items and attach them. Okay, so now when we hit go, there we go. Okay, so hopefully um, that solves the mystery of being able to uh, isolate certain elements in um, design space because that has been a problem that I get emails about all the time. And actually, let me show you one more example here with uh, a file like this one. Okay, now this one doesn't have any score marks, so there's nothing to ungroup. As you can see, it's just one layer here. Now, if we insert a square in here, we can cover up this one okay. This one might be a little difficult, and we may need to use a smaller square, and actually, no, that won't work for that smaller flower because it's so close to this element. So you just need to get a little creative, and instead of using a square, use a circle. Okay, so let's do that. Let me highlight both of the, like everything here and just hit slice and then see what happens. Okay, so it freed that up, cut that out. Oops. And then it got rid of this. Now, because that circle was overlapping this flower, we're just going to need to go in and repeat that process one more time, making sure that we cover up that flower. Okay, and again, I'm just going to go ahead and hit slice. Okay, and it covered that up, and there you go. We've got it all isolated. So hopefully you found this tutorial informative and helpful. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to contact us using the contact form on our website at 3dsvg.com. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www. 3dsvg.com Live, craft, love, and dream.